Hello everyone, my name is Tracy, otherwise known as Trace Face, from the Trace Face It channel on YouTube. And I want to say thank you very much to a shout out for Nova Scotia, a festival for healing, for asking me to be a part of this. Without getting too much into my story, I am a survivor of trauma and abuse. I was born and raised in a small town called Danielson, Connecticut. And uh, my grandparents are French, well, we're French Canadian, they're no longer here. And uh, so we have family from parts of Canada, many parts of Canada. And I, uh, people do notice I have a kind of strange accent from growing up in New England, but yet uh, growing up across the street from my meme and Pepe who spoke um, French all the time. So I sort of picked up this, uh, this accent. And anyway, Canadians are near and dear to my heart. And I just, um, I, I've worked for the last 14 years, uh, actually a lot longer than that, with teens. Um, I am a transition coach, helping teens transition from high school into the world of work, helping them with everything from getting their resume together, identifying places that would be a good fit for them to work, and of course making sure that they retain their job. Uh, I also am a musician, so I have played at a lot of different nonprofits, uh, different schools for high school uh, kids and teens, and um, the, uh, also the School of Rocks. I've done a lot of performances with the School of Rocks, which is a franchise uh, that I, I also have been a part of in, in the last 10 years or so. So I've done, so I'm a, I'm a big advocate for our teens. And uh, tonight I wanted to make this message go right out to our teens in Nova Scotia. Uh, having gone through something so traumatic and there, there's, there's just no uh, textbook to trauma. There is no way in which somebody is supposed to handle it or not handle it. Uh, but there are certain things that are going to help get through major traumas and and after all that you've endured the grief and the loss and the fright you know a lot of you are frightened right now from what has just happened and uh not to mention as i said losing loved ones really compounds uh that those factors of being frightened and being scared and just being uh in shock basically it's the shock so i want to talk to you tonight about that now, uh, for those of you that do have teens in your house, um, you're the parent or guardian, perhaps the sibling of a teenager, or you're, you might be the teenager that is listening in, and hopefully you are. Uh, like I said, everyone's going to have a different way to reacting to something so horrific. And uh, it's important that your teen feels that they have a safe space to be able to share what is on their mind and not feel like they're going to be judged for that. Uh, a lot of times your teenager is going to exhibit behaviors that they might not have previously. For example, if your teen, or if you're watching right now, you are the teen, you at one point were very uh, you know, outgoing and you were extroverted and you're finding yourself very quiet right now. That's normal, that's a normal way to you know, you're, you're trying to process what happened. Now, as I said before, it's important that the teen feels comfortable to be able to express what is on their mind and not feel judged. So it's, it's important as the parent to be able to let your teen uh, just be able to come out and tell you how they're feeling. Uh, it's, it's important that they feel like they can do that and that someone is not going to go back and say, well, you know, I think this way, or I have a different opinion, or I don't think you should be thinking that way. Uh, there's a lot of different emotions that they are trying to process right now. And this, and you know, teens have it, have it hard to begin with. You know, that is the age I always say was the, the most difficult because you're trying to figure out how you're, you're getting to the steps of becoming an adult. You have all these pressures and then you add on social media and all the different things that teens are experiencing that I didn't have to experience when I was once a teen. 
and many of us did not have to experience. So added on now something so major and catastrophic that you just recently went through, you're gonna have a lot of confusion and you're gonna have some different behaviors that you are exhibiting or the, as, as the person in the household is watching their teen uh, ex exhibit. Uh, I, I just really, really want teens to understand that you, you should be reaching out right now to your support system as much as possible. You know, um, don't feel that you need to, you know, go, go within to, to, to be dealing with this. You know, um, we're going through also this, this COVID-19 uh, pandemic where a lot of us have been on lockdown and we can't do the things we once were able to do. This is the time that you want to make sure you're scheduling, you know, Skype and Zoom and Google Meetup and, and Facebook Messenger meetups with your friends and making that a regular thing. Um, if you are able, I don't know your restrictions happening right now in Nova Scotia, but if, if things are gradually become, you know, getting lifted, you want to make sure that you are making plans with your friends and your family to be getting out of the house and experiencing new memories. Um, you know, right now, again, you're trying to process what has happened and it's important that you are, are just trying as hard as you can to, you know, make those new memories and feel connected, feel connected to others through what has just recently happened. Um, if you are feeling the urge to, to, look into uh, substances and alcohol as, as a crutch to cope. Uh, I am here to tell you tonight that it is most definitely the worst thing you could possibly be doing to deal with trauma. And I know that from experience. Uh, it, it, when, you do, when you go to those places, it only gets worse. So if you are listening tonight and you have already begun to do this, or perhaps you were engaging in alcohol and drugs before this happened and you're finding that you are spiraling uh, you know, out of control right now, you're, you're leaning towards that, you're doing that more often, this is the time you want to, mark my words, you, you want to get some help because we don't wanna lose you and, and it is not worth you going through and putting your family and friends through another trauma. Your life is worth it. And, and there's a reason that you're still here and perhaps your friends uh, that, you know, or somebody that you know that just lost their life uh, has gone on to another world, which I believe that there is another life after this one. And I do talk about that openly on my channel. But I, I just want to stress that you are so important and you are so loved and you are so supported uh, and, and, Please understand that and do not, do not go, you don't need to go to those places, okay? And if you are, please reach out and get some help. Uh, you can start by going to your primary care physician and talking to them. You could, you could pick up the phone and call a suicide hotline. You could call if you're feeling suicidal. You could call a substance abuse counselor. Um, there are so many avenues to, to get the help. And... Please don't forget that there's always help. And I tell people that I work with all the time, there is always, always uh, options for you. Don't ever, ever, ever give up because of trauma and abuse situations. Um, I, I do work right now, I, I didn't mention this, but I do work with a lot of victims of domestic violence, victims that are, are feeling suicidal, and uh, victims that have, have endured trauma and abuse. And so uh, I am a coach to help them through it because I have had personal experiences um, where I survived and almost died and survived. So um, I just did want to throw that in there that that's what I'm currently doing for work. Um, it is important to recognize that along with those avenues that you should think about getting help, um, other behaviors that you're, you know, that you may be exhibiting that you might want to get, reach out again and get some help and make sure that you are talking openly about how you're feeling is if you are becoming much more withdrawn or you are, uh, 
you're you're doing these behaviors that are just not of your character. So parents, if you're listening to this, you really want to pay attention. Uh, you know, sleeping too much, um, just being withdrawn, not eating, perhaps overeating, binge eating, um, um, not feeling the urge to even want to go outside. Um, you know, playing video games way too much. Um, you know, I, everybody has their way of coping with certain, you know, certain traumas. But these types of things, especially as a teen, you want to be aware of. And you, you do want to make sure that you are talking to someone on a regular basis about it. Uh, you know, again, I just want to say that please make sure you are reaching out. I am here for all of you. I can be reached at tracefaceit at gmail.com. My channel is tracefaceit. I am a, a advocate and a coach for victims and targets of narcissistic abuse. And um, for the monster in, in Nova Scotia to do what he did recently, um, everything I know and to be true, uh, narcissism has to be at the basis of 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 psychopathic behavior it's it's a baseline for uh being able to 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 be that callous that monstrous that uh just uh, words don't describe um i i say that they are robots they are demons uh they have lost their souls and i talk very openly about that i'm very spiritual and uh, a lot of people do believe, uh, you know, the narcissistic uh, definition is a psychological definition. I am a firm believer that it is a spiritual, it's a spiritual infection that has happened to these people to be able to do what they did. And there will be repercussions. There, They will meet their maker. And the people that can do what this, this individual did, I truly believe will will go to hell and it you know that's eternal that's eternal i do believe that there is another life after this one i'm a firm believer of that and so uh if you would like to know anything more about that i do talk very openly about it on my channel and i'd be more than happy to help any of you teens or anybody out there that needs some support and help during this very very difficult time i again my heart my healing intentions and my prayers are with all of you. I am Trace Face. Thank you.